Hey guys. So, um, Carla Nicole, not going to be long this evening. Um, just something on my heart and mind that I'd like to share. Something that I think is very important that we need to think about. Um, in relationships, it is so important that when we are going through our challenges in our relationships, that we pay attention to when is the best time to bring up things, to discuss things, to focus on things, to problem solve. I think in relationships, what we tend to do is we tend to not use the best timing when it comes to certain things we want to address in relationships. Um, I've spoken, I think it was yesterday, yesterday morning about toxic um, relationships. And um, I didn't touch on something that I think is very important. That we think about. What is most important is that we think about um, when we're addressing certain issues, concerns, when we're addressing certain things that are going on in the relationship, that we are mindful about what we're addressing and when we are addressing it. To think about how important it is in relationships to focus on the timing of addressing certain things is just as important as doing and saying certain things when you say them. For instance, if you're already in a volatile scenario, already hot, already heated, already upset, it is not a good time to bring up something that is going to basically cause that anger or frustration in the relationship to be worse than it is before you started arguing. Is that making sense? Am I making sense to everybody? Um, the reason I say this is important is because it's always vitally important when you're in a relationship that you're considerate to that person that you're in a relationship with. You have to be considerate. Listen, if you're already in an argument, you're already upset, you're already going through something that you've already just been aggravated by, that is not a good time to bring up something that is going to cause the anger, frustration that you're having in the relationship. That is not a good time to drum up more stuff that is going to cause more aggravation and anger and frustration in that time you are in. You have to, as a lover, as a mate, as a partner, you have to be mindful that I know this is already sensitive. I know we're already hot. I know we're already arguing and frustrated and we're at a heightened spot right here where I can either diffuse the situation or I can ignite it and make it worse. The reason I say this is important is because when you're in a toxic relationship, and you already see that certain things are going down the road of destruction, um, physical uh, arguments, um, anything that's going to go down that road to trans to, to, to just cause all this chaos. It's vitally important that you sit back and say, hold on a minute. Let me think and assess the situation and scenario. Just like you do with your kids. You know you can't talk to your kids about sitting down and focusing on certain things when they're already in a heightened space or excited or or distracted. You know you're not going to get their full attention. You know you can't ask them to do certain things when they're already in a heightened space. Doing something distracted, busy, not focused, that is not the time to sit your child down and have a serious heart-to-heart heart -heart conversation, right? So we understand that, that timing with our children is the same type of focus we need to do with our mates. It is not a perfect time to try to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them when you know damn well that they are not in a, a space to listen to you, to hear you out. Because when you're angry, 
frustrated, mad, upset, you can't hear nothing. All you want to do is speak your mind, tell your truth, tell them how you think, what you feel, and you're really not there to hear what they have to say. In that position, there's that is not a time to try to have all this layout of information you want to give them about how you feel and how you're frustrated because that's not the time. Perfect timing to have conversations about things you want to see changed or things you want to work on as a team or couple is when there's nothing going on. No conflict, no headache. You guys are in a very relaxed space. You guys are open and honest with each other at this point that you can have these conversations about resolutions, things you want to work on, things you want to restore in the relationship, in the marriage, in the partnership, or in the in the poly arrangement, whatever you guys got going on. You want to have certain times that you know that we are settled, we're cool, we're calm, there's really no issue. We just want to talk about some things we want to work on and improve on. That is the time to have open heart-to-heart, uncomfortable conversations where it's not really volatile. Why are y'all trying to sit your man down when you're already mad about something to have a heart-to-heart with him and then expect him to receive it well? That is not, this is why I, this is why coaching is so important. This is why having me in your life is so important. This is why signing up for a wisdom subscription is so important because there are certain things that you are doing in your relationship that is costing you peace in the relationship. Your lover is going to be more responsive and receive better what you want to do and critique and how you want to change things and fix things and restore things when it is in better timing when the timing is right, when, when you guys have a better rapport with each other, you guys are more friendly, right? Nobody wants to listen to you when you're already yelling and screaming and frustrated. They don't want to hear you. They don't want to listen to that because they're not in, it's not the right time. So I just wanted to give you this real quick clip because I'm not going to be on here very long. Please think about and assess the scenario. Let me hold back saying something right now. Let me hold back giving him the raw truth. Let me just give it to him in a a different way at a different time because I know he'll receive it better. We know those things. I'm not telling you something you don't already know. You know your man isn't going to hear you when you're all in a frenzy and focused and mad about something. You know that. You know your woman's not going to hear you if she's angry about something. She's not going to hear you. I don't care what you say. Because she's already aggravated that you had this argument or that you didn't see eye to eye or that you didn't pick up the kids when you said you would or whatever. That is not the time to say, well, this is what's going on. And Matter of fact, I'm mad that you always got me picking the kids up. Why don't you pick them up sometime? And all this, okay, now you're, you're, just, you're just going to pour salt on a wound that's already open that's what we're gonna do and then wonder why we're aggravated and agitated with our mate well you're bringing up shit at the wrong time you you are not you are not assessing the situation or scenario properly okay so i'm gonna give it to you again Think about it how you do your children. When your children are distracted, when your children are busy, when your children are playing with their friends or on the TV or doing something that they, you know, that they're busy with. You don't sit them down and try to tell them about how to do their schoolwork at that time. You're not going to try to have a heart to heart conversation with your child when they're busy shopping at the mall with their friends. That doesn't go together, right? We know that's a conflict of interest. I can't sit my daughter down. She's 21. If my child is that closed mentor, I can't sit her down at that moment and say, well, listen, I want to tell you about how to handle my estate if I pass. She's going to be like, what? Really, mom? Really? I mean, basic stuff. You know what I'm saying? She's going to be looking at me like, what is wrong with you, mom? Why are you talking to me about this while I'm shopping? Well, I really wanted to have this heart to heart. Bad timing bad timing so how do we make sure that it's a perfect time the perfect time to have conversation or resolution um uh uh uh, or or when you want to have 
conversations about restoration. Sometimes we just want to restore some vibes. Sometimes we want to just talk about some things. We want to, we want to come up with how can we restore the vibe that we had in the beginning? What, what can we do? Sometimes you got to you got to have the conversation, but have the conversation when it's appropriate. Like I said, you can't have a conversation with your man while he's watching the game. You want to, I want to hear your feelings. Do you love me? And he's doing this around your head. Can you move? I'm trying to see the game. I know, but do you love me or not? Please tell me. I just want to hear it. Why would you go to that man when you know he's in the middle of watching the game? You know he's not going to give you no full-on, full-on um, R&B version of how he feels about you. You know that's not going to happen, but you're going to be all in his face. Well, I know you want to see the game, but who do you love more, the game or me? You're going to be sleeping with me tonight. Da, 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 da. He's going to be like, listen, I love you. Do you really? Listen, they're trying, they're getting ready to have a touchdown. You're in the way. <laughs> okay, babe, but I want to know, do you love me or not? Bad timing. And men. They got bad timing too. Y'all want to talk and have conversation with a woman when well, she's getting ready to go out with her girlfriends and putting her hair up and getting dressed? Now you want to sit down with well, babe. I just want to know, like, are we going to make these bills to be more affordable by doing... Why are you having a conversation with her about bills when you know she's not even focused on that? She's focused on going out with her girls tonight. You're trying to distract her. Or you're trying to, you're trying to delay her hurry to get there by talking to her about something serious. This is the stuff that goes on in relationships and then all this conflict goes on and then all of this surprise happens. Like, I can't believe you don't love me. I went to him to ask him if he loved me. He said nothing. You're asking him when he's in the middle of the game, right? So you're trying to get a man to have a heart to heart with you when he's watching the game. Am I understanding that correctly? Yeah. Well, that's, that's inappropriate. That's not even right. That's unfair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen. I try to give you guys stuff you can use in your tool belt when you're on these lives with me. I'm trying to put you up on game with something. It's about timing. When you're talking about time with your lover, when you're trying to fix some things, when you're trying to repair some things in the relationship, stuff you want to restore, you have to sit down and have the conversation when the vibe is right, when you both are open to listen and hear, when you guys are not going to be in a judgmental state. If your mate is already pitching a bitch about stuff you're not doing, that is not a great time to bring up about, oh, well, what about this and what about that? That's not good timing. Leave it alone. If it's an issue you really want to talk about, it's okay. Just, just wait. You have another opportunity. Everything doesn't have to come out. We don't have to regurgitate everything out right now. Sometimes we need to hold back and allow certain things to come up in its organic state and then bring it up and then talk about some things and then try to figure out ways to resolve stuff you trying to resolve stuff when it's it's the worst time perfect timing of result of resolution and res restoration of relationship is when your mate is willing to hear you and willing to listen to you and then willing to interject what their position is without feeling like they're not being heard and if they're not in the best focus at the time, say, never mind, we'll talk about it later. Or this isn't, I'm not really feeling that you're open right now for this conversation, so let's just wait. It's okay. You don't have to do it right now. Why, why are we in such a rush to get everything stuff, all this stuff done right now? Be patient. Sometimes you'll get better results when you're patient, when you take your time, when you allow your mate to show you who they are without you judging all in their face. Oh, you're done. Be patient. Understand your mate will do some things that maybe you don't agree with or maybe you don't feel too cool with. It's okay. We have to be mindful. Sometimes we have to hold back trying to fix everything right now. Sometimes we have to be mindful that we, we need a relationship to be restored. But at the same time, we need to, we need to be patient on how we do it. Make sure you share this video. I want y'all to get this. Perfect timing is very important, but also remember that the timing that you have is vital to when you're trying to restore and fix the vibe. Share this video. Tag your friends. It's Carla Nicole. 
I'm signing off. Best kit. Bye, guys.